Hi guys, uh, for this video I am going to discuss about the history of the Cry of Balintawa. This version is written by the Katipunan General uh, Guillermo Masangkay. He is an eyewitness of the historic event and a childhood friend of Bonifacio. According to him, the first rally of the Philippines Revolution happened on August uh, 26, 1896 at Balintawa. Correspondingly, uh, the date and site uh, presented uh, were accepted by the preliminary years of the American government. Uh, below is General Guillermo Masangkay's versions of the Cry, uh, Cry of Balintawa. August 26, uh, 1896, a big meeting was held in Balintawa at the house of Apollonius Samson, then the cabisa of that uh, barrio of Caloacan. Among those who attend, I remember were Bonifacio Emilio Jacinto Aguedo del Rosario, Tomas Remedio, Briosio Pantas, uh, Teodoro Plata, Pio Valenzuela, Enrique Pacheco, and Francisco Carrion. They were all leaders of the Katipunan and composed the board of directors of the organization. Delegates from Bolacan, Cabanatuan, Cabiti, and Moro, now Rizal, were also, were, uh, were also present. About, about that day, nine, at 9 o'clock in the morning of August 26, the meeting was opened with uh, Andres Bonifacio presiding and Emilio Jacinto acting as a secretary. The purpose was to discuss when the uprising uh, pricing was to take place. Uh, Teodoro Plata, that is Bonifacio's uh, brother-in-law, Briosio Pantas, and Pio Valenzuela were all opposed to starting the revolutions too early. The reason that the people would be in distress in the, uh, in the revolution were started without adequate preparation. Plata was uh, very uh, was very forceful in his argument, stating that the uprising could not very well be started without, uh, without the arms and food for the soldiers. Valenzuela used Rizal's argument about the rich not siding with the Katipunan organization. Andres Bonifacio, sensing that, uh, that he, he would lose in the discussion then, left session hall talk to the people who were waiting outside for the result of the meeting of the leaders he told the uh, told that the people uh, people that the leaders were arguing against starting the revolutions early and appealed to them in very speech in uh, in which he said you remember the faith of our countrymen who were shot in Bagumbayan. So uh, should we return now to the towns and the Spaniards will only shoot us? Our organization has been discovered and we are all marked men. If we don't start the uprising, the Spaniard will get us out anyway. Bonifaz should then ask the people to give pledge that the they were, uh, they were to revolt. He told them that the sign of the slavery of the Filipinos, the Cidula tax charge each citizen. If it is true that you were ready to revolt, that is Bonifacio. Bonifacio then asked the people to give pledge that the, they were, uh, they were to revolt. He told them that the sign of the slavery of the Filipinos. The Cidula tax charge each citizen. If it is true that you were ready to revolt, that is Bonifacio's save. I want to see the destroyer Cidulas. It will be the sign that all of us have declared our severance from the Spaniards. With tears in their eyes, uh, the people as one man. Uh, pull, uh, pulled out their cedulas and tore them to pieces. 
It was the beginning of the formal declaration of the uh, vociferation of Spanish rule. With their cedulas destroyed, uh, they could no longer go back to their homes because the Spaniards would persecute them. Uh, if, na, uh, if not for being katip, if, uh, if not for being kap, uh, katipuneros, uh, for having no cedulas, uh, the people who had no cedulas during uh, during those days were severa, uh, severely punished. When the people's pledge was obtained by Bonifacio, he returned the session hall and informed the leaders of what took place outside. The people want to report, and they, they have destroyed their cedulas. That is Bonifacio said. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, we have to start uprising. Otherwise, the people of hundreds were shot. Uh, will be shot. There was no alternative. Um, the board of directors, uh, in despite of the protest of Plata, Pantas, and Valenzuela, vote for the re uh, revolution. And when the when this was decided, the people outside shouted, Long live the Philippines Republic. While the gathering of uh, gathering at Balintawak was celebrating the decision of Katipunan leaders uh, to start the uprising, the guard uh, who were up in trees uh, uh, to watch uh, for any possible in intruders to or approach to the enemy gave the warning that the Spaniards were coming. Led by Bonifacio, Emilio Asento and the other leaders of Katipunan, the men were distributed in strategic uh, positions and were prepared for attack of civil guards. Um, they was uh, with a group uh, stationed on the bank of Small Creek, uh, guarding the place uh, where the Spaniards were to pass in order to each meeting place in the Katip uh, Katiponeros. Shots were defied by the civil guard and that was the beginning of the fire uh, which later became such a huge uh, conflagration. Cry of Balintawak was a cry for freedom. It is a uh, historic significant to us uh, consist of the uh, realization that the Filipinos had finally realized the lasting value of freedom and independence to mark the beginning of the bloody revolutions in the Philippines. That's all. Thank you.